Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome everybody. Please consider doing this. Subscribe to this channel if you're liking these videos. And when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. That said, let's get into today's video. Let's stop being so gloom and doom, okay? I've put out a lot of gloom and doom videos because, quite frankly, when you're one and four, you're, you're a little bit gloomy. But let's talk about some good things. Let's talk about Dame Brown. Diami. Man! Finally! Where have you been, my friend? Two huge touchdown catches against the Tennessee Titans this past weekend. I mean... Diami Brown steps in for the injured Jahan Dotson and was just spectacular. We saw the speed. This is the reason why that we drafted him was he is a deep threat. He's a burner. And he could stretch the field and give some more room for Terry McLaurin. But he can also be deadly too. We he showed us what he could do. Yes, you, he showed us what we could do against the Titans, right? And so when you have somebody like Jamie Brown who can come off the bench, play like he did, and place a John Dotson, now we've got Jamie Brown, we got John Dotson, we got Curtis Samuel, we got, of course, Scary Terry, Terry McLaurin. Those are four dynamic wide receivers that we have. These guys, I mean, we are just loaded at wide receiver. And then you got Cam Sims who could come in and be this huge target for you especially when you start getting into the red zone, right? And so we have got wide receivers out of the kazoo. <laughs> of course, you got Dax Millen, who, who's been served more as uh, the kick returner. And I know some people have not been too happy with him, me included. But, you know, he's able to come off the bench and, and catch some passes as well. But uh, talking about a trio, I really think, this could be the trio that we see uh, for years to come. You know, Brown, Dotson, McLaurin. To me, that is the that could be the modern day posse right there. Uh, you know, finally we saw what Brown could do, and that that's the thing. Do you know what I mean? We knew that he had some speed. We knew it, but we were just waiting for him to really do something. We we're waiting for him to get his opportunity. And with Jahan Dawson going down, he got his opportunity, and he did not disappoint. Now, the only downfall was that after that second touchdown pass, we didn't see him anymore. He was he was hurt. Um, I don't know how bad he, he's hurt. We'll, we'll know soon. But, you know, this is what we need, folks. We need playmakers like that. Of course, we need an offensive line. I mean, I've been preaching that forever. But... I will say this is something very positive that we have to look forward to. Having wide receivers like that, we're not going to have an issue with that. If we can ever, if we can ever work out our offensive line woes and actually have an offensive line that can give the quarterback some time, I mean, this offense can be dynamic. We've got some dynamic wide receivers. We got some running backs in the backfield who could really pound the rock if given the opportunity, if given some run plays. We've got some talent on the offense, folks. We, we really do. And we got some talent, I think, at the tight end position as well. You know, when Logan Thomas is healthy, he's spot on. Um, you know, I want to see a little bit more out of uh, Cole Turner. Cole Turner finally got to play a little bit. I don't think he had any catches against the Titans. He was targeted uh, once or twice, but he didn't really catch anything. Um, and then, of course, we've got um, Bates. You know, John Bates is, is really not going to be your, your pass-receiving tight end. He's almost like a what I call a Don Warren tight end. Uh, so I'm going back in time, back into the glory years. Uh, Donnie Warren, he was more of your pass-blocking tight end run blocking tight end but he would go out and you know catch a pass every now and then that's kind of like what john bates is uh your your logan thomas is more of your your pass receiving tight end and we needed another guy like that cole turner but 
I think we're doing pretty good, the tight ends, but wide receivers. If there's anything that I can say that we totally have no issues with whatsoever is wide receiver. We've got wide receivers stacked, and we need to keep these wide receivers. And I think eventually when we're able to get a good offensive line, and we can build that offensive line up quickly, folks. We just need a good draft next year. We need a good, solid uh, free agency to pick up some solid offensive linemen. We could build that offensive line up quickly if we really want to, and we really need to. But I can't say enough about uh, De'Ami Brown. I'm just I'm so excited. I'm so excited that we finally got him involved in the offense, and it was exciting to see what he could do. This is what I've been waiting on. This is what all of the fans have been waiting on. Uh, Jamie Brown, I think, um, I want to see him more involved. I want to see him stretching the field. I want to see him on the field with Terry McLaurin and Jahan Dotson. Could you imagine all three of those guys on the field at once? It's going to be unfair. I mean, if the quarterback can just get some time, I mean, just put them all on a go route. <laughs> See who's going to catch the football. I mean, this could really help the offense out quite a bit. And, you know, this is what this is something that maybe when you look at the silver lining uh, around these black clouds, you start to see things like that. You know, Jamie Brown finally stepping up when we thought maybe – he was going to be absent. He's stepping up in, in place of, of Jahan Dotson. And then you have, of course, um, Brian Robinson, who came back and led, led everybody in rushing. Now, he really didn't rush for very much because we didn't have a running game. But, um, you know, he, he's got a bright future ahead of us as well. I mean, when you look at this, there are, there are things to look forward to, folks. Now, hopefully, if in fact that this team winds up moving on from Ron Rivera, and it's quite a possibility, and I, I've said in another video, uh, but if this team does move on from Ron Rivera, what I do hope happens is that the next coach realizes the talent that they have at these skill positions, especially at wide receiver, and they hang on to these guys. Because I'm telling you, you're going to need to build around these guys. You've got a lot of pieces in place, but you've got to build those trenches up. And I really think that's one thing I will say about Ron Rivera. He has brought some some solid guys in. I mean, he, he has brought some guys at these skilled positions, some excellent talent. But he hasn't done enough to really support the, the trenches. And that's where it all starts at. And so... If the next coach comes in and can build up the trenches and can develop a good solid game plan around the talent that he has, this team's going to go far. I really believe it. What do you think, folks? Let me know in the comment section below. Jamie Brown, he's back, man. He's finally, he's finally arrived. Let me know in the comment section. Leave me a comment. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your buddies. Again, subscribe to this channel if you're really enjoying this channel. Um, and hit that notification bell because you never know when I'm going to release another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Um, I also have a Patreon page. Feel free to visit that. I only have memberships at $3. I would have lowered it even further than that. But I'm starting at $3, so support me, folks. Um, I'm going to try to build up my Patreon the best I can, too, to offer you something there as well. You can also donate to me if you want to, and I'll let you know how.